Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Hello everyone, I'm Dave Graveline. Welcome back to another Into Tomorrow update. We'd like to take a moment to thank you all for watching our weekly ITTV videos and invite you to subscribe. While our main channel is on YouTube, you can also find ITTV on many other popular video sharing sites. Thanks for your support and let us know what you think. Preserving old pictures can be a tedious task to some, therefore a lot of them just sit in shoeboxes collecting dust. Technology is helping make that chore a whole lot easier and faster to do. Rob Almanza is up next with a smart photo scanner. Rob? Hey Dave, a company called Plustech is helping us digitize and share our old printed pictures in a very easy way with this, the smart photo scanner. It's a simple one touch button process. In my experience, the longest part was installing the driver and simple software on my computer but that will vary across all computer operating systems as this is compatible with Windows and Mac. The scanner is a no-brainer. After the initial setup required, you connect it via USB, insert a photo, and hit the scan button. If you don't want to press the scan button every time, you can set it for continuous scanning, meaning all you have to do is insert the picture. This feature is great if you have a lot of photos to scan. The pictures are automatically saved in whatever folder you assign during setup. After a photo is scanned, if no editing is needed, you can immediately share that on the web, just locate it on your computer and upload it like you already do, or you can add it to your digital picture frame. On my MacBook, the only editing I had to do was to rotate some of the pictures. However, there were some small pictures that were not placed in straight on the scanner, so I had to crop the border. Make sure you place the picture completely to the left or right side to avoid it scanning crooked. For all you scrapbookers, a scanner can also be used to scan any paper mementos like a newspaper article, as long as it's less than 4 inches wide. The Smart Photo P60 scanner from Plastic currently costs just under 100 bucks. Of course, if you're an online shopper, you may find it for less. As a photoholic, I'm a big fan of the Smart Photo scanner, and I'm pretty sure you might enjoy it too. Back to you, Dave. Thanks, Rob. More info, of course, at intotomorrow.com. This ITTV update is brought to you in part by DiskKeeper 2010 Performance Software, the only product available today that actually prevents up to 85% of fragmentation before it happens, utilizing a revolutionary technology called IntelliWrite. Get it at DiskKeeper.com. Get ready as we travel into yesterday with Chris Graveline and This Week in Tech History. This week in 1879, after 14 months of experimenting in Menlo Park, New Jersey, Thomas Alva Edison succeeded in producing a working prototype of the electric incandescent lamp that could burn for a whopping 13 and a half hours. In 1919 this week, the Radio Corporation of America, or RCA, was formed. The company became a giant in electronics, especially radios and TVs. It would later own its own television network and other broadcast interests. This week in 1985, Intel introduced the 32-bit 8386 microcomputer chip. It was the first Intel 86 chip to handle 32-bit data sets. It ran at clock speeds of up to 33 megahertz, which was blazingly fast, at least in 1985. And this week in 1998, Microsoft and prosecutors for the U.S. Department of Justice and 20 states met in federal court. It was the beginning of the massive antitrust case against Microsoft Corporation. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History. Thank you, Chris. This ITTV update is brought to you in part by NewEggBusiness.com. Trust NewEgg for your home and now for your business. Open an account at NewEggBusiness.com today and enjoy one-stop shopping and volume savings right away. Kids these days can't leave home without their cell phones or MP3 players. However, those devices don't have the best speakers. So it's not so convenient to hear your tunes with your friends. Our Kids Tech correspondent, Caitlin Gatrell, joins us next with a simple, chic speaker. Here's Caitlin. Hi guys, it's Caitlin here with Chic Boom. 
It's a small size. Big sound. This is something that I like and so does my mom. It fits in a pocket, purse, or even a backpack. Sheep Boom is a mini keychain speaker. That's right, it's a speaker. So you can clip it on your keys, your phone, and whatever else it can fit on. The keychain I have here is a stylish leopard print and outlined by sparkling crystals in the shape of a heart, which is where the speaker. This is where you plug it into your phone, MP3 player like the iPod Touch, computers and other stuff. I really like this sheet room because I can listen to my favorite songs out loud. And it has a rechargeable battery. By the way, we have some for giveaway. How would you like to win one? All you have to do is call the MT Tomorrow Radio Show. I'll even give you a number. Oh look, it's right here. It's 1-800-899-INTO. That's 800-899-4686. Well, until next time, I'm Caitlin, and thanks for watching. Bye! Thank you very much, Caitlin. Remember, Caitlin's always looking for topic or product suggestions from you. Leave us a comment below or call our national radio program anytime. That's into tomorrow, of course. 1-800-899-INTO. 800-899-4686. And we'll pass it along to her. We have a special treat for you on our next ITTV update. Let's just say it might keep you on the edge of technology. Oh, and be sure to hit like on our Facebook fan page for the latest news from Into Tomorrow. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week right here. I'm Dave Graveline. Be sure to stay tuned.